speakers in here to talk about workforce development and some of the challenges that um, institutions of higher education need to be paying more attention to around preparation of professionals in these communities, especially as the demographics begin to shift and rural communities that have traditionally perhaps not experience large numbers of individuals coming from other countries and so forth coming into the community and just the kind of preparation that needs to be happening to support um, making sure uh, folk are prepared to work effectively with families um, as they engage in service provision um, one of the things that I'll be talking about in concert with um, Dr. Grace and the breakout on policy is I have transitioned from that role at UNCF and um, heading up an organization in Northern Virginia called the Campania Center. And at the Campania Center, we provide services to about 1,700 uh, children and families <laughs> from birth through uh, secondary. Um, we have youth development programs, a uh, number of early childhood education programs, and school age programs. And it's fascinating as an early childhood person who spent some time now looking at the other end of the continuum to really recognize and appreciate the importance of connections across the education continuum. And as much as I'm an early childhood advocate, I strongly believe that unless we are doing our jobs all along the way, that we're going to be disturbing kids. And I know resources are often a challenge and there's a lot of struggle over where we should be making the, the best investments, but the reality is if we're not doing it across the age continuum, um, our children are going to be shortchanged.